It's me, a little girl. No one likes waiting on a paycheck, especially when you got bills due. Good thing there's Chime. Now you can get a paycheck up to two days early with direct deposit. And sometimes I need buy money early because I'm a little girl. But Chime is more than just getting paid early. It's an award-winning mobile app, checking account, debit card, an optional savings account. My grandma opened my savings account for me when I was a little girl. Can I ask you, is that piece of plastic in your wallet doing enough for you? It's good to establish a credit score so you can get better car loan rates and renting apartments can be easy. I don't rent apartments yet because I'm just a little girl. I live with my mom. So what are you waiting for? Hopefully not your paycheck. Get started with Chime today. Applying for a free account takes less than two minutes. Get started at Chime.com slash bald. That's Chime.com slash bald. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank NA members FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. I don't know who was talking, but I'm just a little girl. Hi. Should we talk? Oh, the, I mean, it just listen. It's <laughs> it's it's it not is what it is. It's bitch. not optimal. Is it optimal? No. No, it's not optimal. This is boo boo. Is boo boo the Hello, fool? Hello, I'm boo boo, and this is the fool. We're over here on the pod. We're in Perth. We're in our third night at the um the fucking legendary Astor Theater, right next to the Fat Dragon um Chinese restaurant. Girl, not to tell her story because I don't do that, but. Uh, we pulled up in the bus and we pulled up in the bus and Kelly got out and said, well, this doesn't look like the theater. We were next door at the Chinese the restaurant. The Chinese restaurant. And yeah. I said, Kelly, this is a restaurant. And she said, ow, ow. <laughs> also, I have a chair. I share. I wanted to say dressing room, but she's in an mm. office. She's in an office. You're in a broom closet. And, and you're I'm in, in a kitchen. kitchen. Um, Astor Theater. This is what it takes. And this is what it takes. <laughs> and I heard Kelly in there. Kelly sings Rose's turn in the show. And I heard her go, um. Why did I do it? Like, I heard her just sing that line to herself. And I was like, Kelly, just yes. secretly getting ready. Same. Why did I do it? <laughs> Third night. This is what it takes. This is what it takes. <laughs> this, so we're at... I, I don't ever want to appear ungrateful. I don't either. <laughs> However. Unless you want to. <laughs> And then we can... You know what? Every job has its something you complain about. Yeah. Today we are at, for the last three days, we've been in a venue that I won't say was prepared for this show. No, I think they were prepared for, they were, they were booked for some old maiden type of <laughs> show and they don't <laughs> possess the vernacular that they, they need they to. They do. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, they would have been prepared for our solo shows. I did a solo show here. Yes, I did as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, sold out. Sold out. <laughs> sold, sold out. Sold out. Sold out. <laughs> Pretty but, much sold out. But so it, it's getting to the point where Eden and I have made a pact First, it was we can't complain until 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. And now I pushed it until after the show. And so far, so good. But that would not have been possible on day one. No, I <laughs> I don't do. A, yeah, it's it's tough. Listen, this is this is the hardest touring year ever. I think probably for, for, would you say that your solo show was harder than this or easier? Easier. Your solo show was easier. Yes. I was on stage for like 20 minutes. I had like 45 minutes of video. I know I saw it. <laughs> I loved it. If, if anybody out there did not see no, Help I Me, I'm dying. I liked it. it was, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. But um, this, I'm a lot more, I'm I'm way prouder of this one. Yeah. And I think this is a much better show. It's a lot more work. I was never, I was doing quick changes, but I had to, I had to change once in my, in my solo show. <laughs> well, it was seven minutes long. Seven minutes long, Mary. Uh, girl, your seven show, I long. was like, did she go home? <laughs> There were some like, videos in yours that I'm like, she's not even here. <laughs> she left the theater. I I le I changed at a leisurely pace. Yeah, and then I had two or three cigarettes. You and then I came back, <laughs> and then I probably changed again. And I would just like, and I wander back on stage for the last bit. It was just, it's you know, really a fashion show. Is it what was it was. a fashion show. You come out, you show lovely outfit. You know what? It, it was like a real drag show where you have all this time to kill between yes, numbers. Exactly. This. Oh no no no. There's no time to kill. This show? Are you kidding me? Quick I wish. Quick changes. Yeah. Quick changes. Yeah. Like those quick, 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 quick changes. But you know what? We have lovely accommodations. 
and it's just the contrast from um, the accommodations to the the the, That's the, the thing. stage is so wild. We're staying at the Ritz Carlton. It's the Ritz Carlton. I I never felt I think this so, is the best so hotel decadent. I've ever stayed. At. It's so decadent. And Besides I, the Trixie Motel. Yeah. <laughs> but as far as like fancy hotels, yeah, this is. They yeah. knocked on my door at. T- I was doing an interview this morning mm-hmm. with Rolling Stone. They knocked on my door at 10 a.m. and delivered a complimentary bottle of Merlot. Are you serious? I said, it's 10 in the morning. And they said, it's complimentary. I said, all right. <laughs> okay. Go, go, go. And then I thought of my daughter, Kelly, and I said, you know what? We're going to need this. I know a woman in need. <laughs> Give me that Merlot. You got any extra? <laughs> I love you. Girl. Oh, I drink. Girl, oh, I asked I Kelly. I asked Kelly, Kelly, I don't know. Do you drink? And she goes, oh, I drink. <laughs> like it was a warning. Like, get ready, bitch. Like a floodgate was going to open. She said, you don't know what's about to hit you. <laughs> Because you know, I sometimes when you want a glass that. of wine and you're responsible, like me, you just need an enabler. Yes. You need a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You and on the previous the tour, glass. Gabriel the, the Queen. Yeah. Gabriel would be like, well, the bottle's half gone. We might as well finish it. And then I he's like, I love that. Well, now that's gone. Should we crack open another? And then he, he, he's my roller yeah. coaster of yeah. emotion. Oh, and I Kelly's love that. like my. I walked back in her dressing room yesterday and I said, Kelly, let's have a glass of wine. And hers was half gone. And she goes, I don't know who did that. <laughs> and she was earnest. She said, I don't know who drank that. Delusion. Screen white, new information. <laughs> she said, I, in her dressing room by herself with her single bottle of wine. And by the way, on this tour, her rider, if you don't know a rider, is like a, I don't know. Did you? What does your rider say? I don't know. I, I think it just says towels and ensure. I haven't updated it in a while. I think we should do, when we have performers on the show, we should have them bring their riders and we should review their riders. Yeah. I bet we have friends who have psychotic riders. Yeah, I, I think somebody did that on like a cruise once. Or, like Raja had the most insane rider. Or no, no, she had the most insane tech sheet. That's it was the tech right. sheet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but for riders, no, I think mine is like really simple. It's like um, the ability to get the air temperature below 50 degrees and like yeah. probably like popcorn or something. I don't know. I think mine is... Uh, Cause you know people put things on writers that are weird just to see if they read them. Yeah, did you know that? Yes, of course. That's why. That's where the whole like red M M&M and M thing comes from. Just to see if people read if, it. If the, it, just to see if people do it. Cause I there was only one time I I realized that I forget what it was. It was like a year ago. I there was only one venue that actually fulfilled my my whole writer. Yeah, and it was like shocking. It's shocking when they do it, and it's always like a college. Yes. It's never a nightclub that actually books talent. No, never. It's always a college and they're like and it's some it's some person who's like coming in sweaty from like the suburbs to get your like, you know, like uh barbecue ranch tostitos or something. <laughs> they're like, oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. It's pretty rough. Mm-hmm. I um But I love I love the um oh, you know what is funny? This is so something is interesting. <laughs> what is it? I can't wait to hear it. I need to know. So we're staying at the Ritz Carlton, a famously like very ritzy hotel, five star hotel. But if you notice, if you notice the architecture, the design elements, the furniture, the it's cabinets, cheap. the fixtures, it's cheap. of course it is. It's cheap. Fucking boo boo. Yeah. There's no. I just saw this incredible um, Twitter thread about the 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 rise of minimalism, not as a, not like minimalism, the aesthetic, but as a simplification, a reduction of all detail. I know. There's disguised no as design detail. elements. It's not a design element. It's, it's disguised cutting corners. as design it's element. And it's not, oh, I'm minimalist. No, 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 no. You have no detail. You're yeah. boring. Yeah. Like, it's no, minimalism say, was a thing. I would say the, the room, I think we have identical rooms. It's it's mid-century and it's minimal. And mid- you know, it's the mid-century f- furniture. Mid-century and like, means nothing anymore now. You know what I mean? Mid-century modern was It like, means West Elm. It, it means cheap. We're not just coming for venues anymore. We're coming, we're coming for, for furniture. Hotel. We're coming hotels. for five star hotels. <laughs> no, now but, that you got this aircon unit, honey, you got nothing to talk about <laughs> anymore. Now we have to move on to other elements. <laughs> I, I want a price tag on this couch. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, so at the so I, I was like gagged when we walked into the hotel because it's it's the Ritz. I was like, holy shit, holy shit. It was like it, this is so crazy. Walking in the room, it's enormous. The blinds are on a motor. It's a motorized okay, blind. That it's insane. Girl, it's insane. Uh, it's crazy. I pretty much jerk off to that. Yeah, walking I, in the, the room shears, at night and have it open. The shears. It's fierce. just when you think you just when you think you're kicking any dark. The you put the shears and then the blinds. And it's then fierce. The, it's so fierce. It's really. But fierce. then you walk into the living room. First of all, the hotel has a living room. That's amazing. But the couch. 
It's not great. Flop. Flop Tina Flop Bestie. Flop Tina Bestie collection at West Elm. <laughs> yeah. It's horrible. It's horrible. It is. It's, I mean, I don't want to sit on it. I certainly wouldn't buy it for myself or for anybody. Well, that furniture is not made for the home. What's it's it made for? Commercial spaces. It's not made for your real home. It's going to be like easier to clean fabric. It's going to be more durable. Like they make throw a work. plastic over it. Girl, throw it off the throw it off the cliff. <laughs> Put some pillows on the floor. <laughs> You know, throw hang one of those yoga ropes on the ceiling. I'll just hang upside down from that shit and watch TV. Put a Papa, put is a Papa John, Papa John. Uh, uh, it's a Papa John's. Papa John. I think those chairs are called Papa John's. I think you're right. <laughs> hang a Papa John. <laughs> Stitch fix, baby, stitching and fixin'. I have had an on and off again relationship with Stitch Fix, and that's my favorite thing about it, okay? Shopping for new clothes can be time consuming, it's stressful, I hate going to the mall, I don't even drive, I hate trying things on, I hate looking at myself in mirrors, I mean, I just hate every part of it. And so expediting the clothing acquiring process means I have more time to do things I actually love, like podcasting. When it comes to looking good, Stitch Fix has you covered. Say goodbye to endless browsing and hello to fresh picks curated for your size and taste. Now, when I say on again, off again relationship, Stitch Fix is great because I can have a rotating personal shopper basically sending clothes to my house. But when I'm on tour, I can pause it anytime I want and reschedule deliveries for when I'm back home. With Stitch Fix, expert stylists work with you with a little quiz you take. It's super easy and for most people, it's probably a quiz you take because you want clothes that you like sent to you. For me, I liked it because I used the quiz as like, this is my dream self, like what clothes I wish I could wear. And then that's what I had Stitch Fix sending to me. So it was items that were like a little more daring or a little more weird. And that way I could try them on at home and sort of decide because I'm not exactly brave. I'm like a jeans and white t-shirt everyday person. So Stitch Fix sending me options that were a little more like what I want my dream closet to be was a great way for me to step outside my comfort zone. You get to try on five pieces at home and then keep what you love and send back what you don't. Shipping, returns, and exchanges are easy and free. It's fab, you guys. It comes in a little bag that's pre-postage stamped. It's so easy. Sign up today at stitchfix.com slash bald and get $20 off your first purchase. That's stitchfix.com slash bald to get $20 off your first purchase. Limited time offer, purchase within two days of sign up. Can I talk to you about why free trials renew without your consent? It's a business scam to get things out of you. Don't let greedy corporations pocket your money. Don't you want to try this for seven days? By the way, after seven days, we're just renewing. It's crazy. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions that you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. On average, people save up to $720 a year with Truebill. Girl, Companies make subscriptions hard to cancel. And I'll tell you, I was subscribed to a Planet Fitness membership in Washington Heights in New York City from literally years ago. And you have to go in person and cancel or send a handwritten note. I don't know what kind of John Hancock Declaration of Independence lifestyle that is, but Truebill reminded me that I had this pending charge. Truebill Concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't have to. You guys, I, when I was learning to DJ during COVID, I was subscribed to Serato and then I switched to Recordbox, which is what I used to DJ, and my Serato was auto-renewing. And in the app, Truebill Concierge sent a little, I just had to click like two buttons and they sent a typed out note to Serato to get my subscription canceled for me. It was so sickening. Truebill has over 2 million users and helps save them over $100 million. I know for me, it I mean, I think my Serato thing was $10 a month and it was going for like six months. I mean, that is embarrassing to admit, but Truebill really helped me get on the right track. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash bald. Go right now, Truebill.com slash bald. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash bald. So let's talk about Indochino. Now, whether you're going to be a groom in a wedding party or a lucky guest, everyone wants to look their best for a wedding. I had to go to a wedding and I was freaking out because I had nothing to wear. So I uh, borrowed some stuff from um, some friends and then it dawned on me, Indochino. I made an appointment and went down to their showroom on Melrose in uh, Los Angeles and was fitted for a custom suit. They were friendly, really uh, easygoing, and it was actually a nice little process, something that I would normally hate. 
And um, my suit came about a month later and it is fantastic. It's sexy, lovely, gorgeous. It's so comfortable and it was really cheap. Um, Suits are so expensive and they're prohibitively expensive for a lot of people. And I'm very excited to wear it and to look like an adult human male. Because I have such long, long legs, it's hard for me to find things, you know, off the rack. Um, usually I have to go to um, a, a college or like a research play, you know, research institute where they specialize in long-legged people. And it's um, a huge hassle. But Indochino really turned it out for me. At Indochino, every suit is made to your exact measurements and you can customize every detail. And I'm talking every detail. The best part, Indochino suits start from just $429 and shirts from $79. If you've got a big day coming up, getting the perfect look is no big deal with Indochino. Get $50 off any purchase of $399 or more by using promo code BALD at Indochino.com. That's $50 off a purchase of $399 or more at I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O.com, promo code BALD. Speaking of riders, the number of – got to talk about the number of barbecue chips that are in my room right now. I think this Brandon mentioned that I might tour. want barbecue chips. <laughs> I walked into four, four <laughs> full-size barbecue chip bags, and I said, "Okay, Miss Big, okay, Miss Weight Gain Tour, okay, Miss Barbecue, Miss Patty Harbuckle, yeah, Miss Biggie." Um, yesterday, somebody at the meet and greet said to us, oh "You look gosh. so much thinner in person." Oh my God, your faces are huge. On the telly. Our faces are huge on TV, and then he said, we're, "He said we are quote unquote fatties on the telly." <laughs> Your fatties on the telly. So Jesus. So fierce. I'm trying to be a fatty in real life, bitch. This is your weight gain tour. Let's I'm talk up. about it. I'm up. I'm up. She's From up. what, though? <laughs> from a Halloween skeleton? <laughs> She's up from bones. Girl, you're up Mama, from when Boniva. You start, when you start with just the bones... You it's, moved from Philadelphia yeah, to yeah, Dallas Buyers Club. Yeah, I'm trying to get to Detroit. Yeah, it, no, it's I can't. You're I, headed to Boys in the Band, bitch. Yeah, I've get, I've um, I arrived underweight. Um, oh, I have it. I have my weight log. I logged the 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 exact kilo amount, the time, and the date. Just for transparency, <laughs> is that public now? Are you going to put that public? Oh, absolutely. Uh, please tell me you're just tweeting it, and that's the way you're logging it. <laughs> A weigh in every day like a psycho. I'm, I'm doing it in my notes app, which mm-hmm. is also I've I've just I've just learned that having a will, your last will and testament in your notes app is not a legally binding document. It has to be handwritten or signed. It has right? to be handwritten. It has to be notarized. And, and, and I think a lawyer has to has to handle it. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, do you have a will? Uh, n- I have a like. Well, all my like retirement accounts have a name for a benefactor. Okay. But like, if I died, what's in my bank account? I don't know who it would go to. Okay. My house, I don't know who it would go to. Right. Houses, sorry. I do have four. <laughs> I technically have four. Holy shit, who are you? Well, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I'm me. I, I'm me. Well, I'm, I'm just me. Just, did you pay for that? Uh, did you pay for that condo in cash? Which condo? <laughs> the one I live in or my one in Milwaukee? I'm just <laughs> I'm not being funny. I'm trying to get details. I know. I know. I'm trying to get details. I'm just trying to be clear. (laughs) I'll tell you, I bought my mom's house cash and I bought my condo Milwaukee cash. But my house in LA, I paid for 60% cash and then my mortgage was very low. My mortgage was only, and this is LA rent money. My mortgage is only $3,000 a month. That's tiny for a mortgage. That's what I thought. In LA, in LA, in LA. The new place... Girl, I'm oh, gonna have no. to sell David. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you're gonna David's moving in, out. and I um, is he gonna? Well, we don't. Well, need to talk we about can that. talk about it. Okay. I I have not been in a situation where I bought this house knowing I could pay for it. Yes. So then, since I asked him to move in, then I had to go. Hey, hey, this is how much mortgage is gonna be. Yeah. But anyway, I asked him to move in, and then I had to go, the sordid topic of coin. coin. It's different for everyone. I was like, hey, here's what mortgage is going to be. Can you help me at all? And he was like, yeah, of course. Damn. But I was so embarrassed and scared to ask because it felt like I was then being like, will you move in with me and help me with money? I mean, yeah, but come on. It's just it's this thing you do. It's just a, something you do. It's just something you do. Um, my, I got to talk about my writer, which I think is just a secure dressing room. Never happens. Never. Ever. Adequate lighting never, never happens. happens. Um, water usually happens. Yeah. What do you got? Sixty-five bottles of San Pellegrino over there. <laughs> yeah. When we go to well, Netflix, I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen. Bitch. This is a Trader Joe's. Yeah, I mean, people are like coming and going. Did it die? 
Yeah, but it's fine. fine. It's just a GoPro. It's just a GoPro. Is it still speeding? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna look. We're gonna look so horrible. Good for us. Oh fuck. We might put this in black and white, like Truth or Dare. Yeah, we've got to do. It. Yeah. This, you look yeah. like Madonna. This, what, I don't know what this is. Madonna. Mm, Madonna. White Lotus. <laughs> Madonna. Nine Perfect Strangers. <laughs> Madonna. Madonna. It's Nicole Kidman's birthday yesterday. Happy How do you 50 feel about it? <laughs> do you want to address the situation? <laughs> Should we talk about it? Let's, let's just get let's, it out in the air. Yeah, let's just let's open it. I'm happy for this. her. Mm. In the show, you do an Australian accent in the video, and I always knew it was a little suspicious. But it now is, that I'm here and I'm hearing the real, real. So when we watch suspicious. your video on the show, I'm like, what even is that accent? No research, done, no research done at all. It wasn't much None. character study. No, it wasn't. I am. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna spoil something. For, I'm gonna spoil a little something. I am a horrible actor. Horrible I don't actor. think that's true. It's true. It's true. Horrible actor, and I and I made a piece with not, it. But... Not with that attitude. <laughs> How do you think Nicole Kidman does it? She before she goes on set, she goes, "I'm an incredible actress." She goes, "I'm an actor." Oh, my dick. Oh, my dick. Yeah, it's 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 boo boo. It's rotten. It's horrible. But you know, I have fun. The, di- the dialect work is um suspicious. A miss. Yes, it's very very faulty. It's wandering. Very. It's wandering. It's very. It's very. <laughs> it's meandering. Got its own agenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my other back to my writer writer because the last three big DJ gigs I've had, my writer says two CDJ three thousands, which is the exact same equipment I play at home. Yep. And one Nexus two mixer. The last three Never. gigs, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Never. So then I had to show up and be like, all What's right. all this? What's all this? Do you get the mix you get? Because I don't use this. Um, this is not my familiar. So what you do? You just plug your computer well, in? Well, it's like I asked for a Mac and they have a PC. And it's like, oh, oh you can make shit. this work, but it's not going to be. It's now now be it's a little more brain power for me. Yeah. But you, maybe it's good because then I was talking to Mateo and he's like, <laughs> well, maybe it's good. He was like, well, it's good because that's never going to go away and you have to get used to playing it and everything. I was like, you're right. Do people normally talk? I mean, do, do they normally bring their own DJ equipment? You can, but if you you can send a DJ writer when they book you that says it's a one sheet Mateo made for me that says yeah. this is exactly what Trixie uses. He even put my height and drag so that the table's the right height. That is none of that happens. <laughs> of course, none not. of that happens. Damn. Um, I, I know people who put crazy stuff in writers. I think I've heard through the grapevine that Jinx's writer had puppies in it for a while. Not like Cruella Deville, but I think it, it might have been a little more ch- tongue in cheek. Puppies, live animals, snakes. Puppies in the dressing room. Perhaps. Dead snakes. <laughs> Heads cut off. Dead. She with the head cut off, garden shears right in front of her while she does a chant. Oh. While for forty five minutes while I do my makeup, I need you to to snip the heads off a bunch of garden snakes. Please. <laughs> please. You gotta write please. please. Um, anyway, thank you. The, the dancers, the dancers were watching Drag Race. Mm-hmm. I had not seen it. Oh, Mary. I just watched one episode with them for the first time. I had not seen All Stars winners. I didn't know it was like new rules. Oh, not to be behind the times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's plungers. all new rules. Plungers, which never really is not landing really. Blocking, blocking. Um, also, why the plunger? What is that? I think it's. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I don't think it's. It doesn't make any sense. Pl- they should call it plug-in. You plugged up the toilet. They should have you choked the toilet with your turd. <laughs> huge turd. Your huge fat turd. You know what yeah. they should do when they want to block someone? They should just they should pull down those Capizio transition tights and squat and lay a big hard turd right on that stage and say, "Blocked." <laughs> what? <laughs> What? They have a physician come in uh, and administer tea blockers. <laughs> Soften some of those dog faces up, maybe a little bit. Yeah, instead of blocking people, they should be. It should be like okay, in Chopped, um, Cutthroat Kitchen. Yeah. When they're like, okay, my penalty I'm going to give you is that you can't taste your food for five minutes. Yeah. They should be like, I want the Vivian filler pulled out by a surgeon. <laughs> you know, like. Yes. yes. Yeah. I want Raja's head shaved. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. All, uh, th- three of those T-cells left are getting plucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want Jinx's shapewear revoked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they exactly. should be able to... I yeah, want it more I, cutthroat kitchen. It should be like... They should be given a handicap or something. You know, yeah. like in golf or whatever. I mean, yeah. handi- I think a handicap in golf is something different. But but they should be given an impediment, a roadblock, yes. some kind of obstacle. Yes. Shea uh, kool we're taking you out at the knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An NFL player is going to take you out at the knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a sprained ankle, um, um, fluid in the thigh. Yeah. Something, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd Jada, be you gotta uh, do the runway. Uh, no teeth. <laughs> We're taking the teeth. Taking the teeth out. Should we go to meet and greet? We gotta go to meet. We're and going greet. to meet and greet. We're going to meet and greet. See you in a bit. 
Following the yellow brick road to stardom isn't easy for most, but this pop music legend did it all in platform shoes. Wondery's podcast, Even the Rich, pulls back the curtain on the lives of the rich and famous to uncover the wild world of celebrity. I love Even the Rich because it's dishy, it's uh, gossipy, it's a nail biter. It is just so fun and um, splashy, wonderful entertainment. You should listen to it because it is an ear gripping, nail biting, page turning, so to speak, masterpiece of a podcast. In an all-new season, hosts Brooke and Arisha tell the story of Elton John. Before he was a global superstar, Elton was an awkward English boy from a fractured home looking for an escape. From Wondery, even the rich Elton John still standing unveils how music transformed Elton into the icon that rocked the world through style and song. In this all-new season, the hosts unpack Elton's life journey from misunderstood, neglected child into a spoiled rock superstar with addiction issues, looking beyond the chart-topping hits and glamorous lifestyle. Elton experienced immense sadness, heartbreak, and struggled to accept himself, but his journey towards self-love and self-discovery ultimately transformed him into an LGBTQ icon, a testament to the power of embracing and owning uniqueness. So, who was Reginald and how did he bloom into Elton? Even the Rich has the whole story. Listen to Even the Rich on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. Or listen ad-free by joining Wondery Plus in the Wondery app. Hi guys, let's talk about Squarespace. Squarespace is the ultimate website building machine mechanism um, marketplace, the be-all, end-all, the alpha and the omega um, when it comes to having an online presence. There are so many wonderful things that Squarespace allows you to do. Um, It's hard to keep track of them, but I'm going to do that for you right now. So they've got e-commerce. They have everything you need to sell anything. The tools that you need to get your business off the ground, including templates, inventory management, a simple checkout process, secure payments, you name it. They've got analytics. You can quickly understand your audience with Squarespace website analytics. This includes page views, traffic sources, time on site, most read content, etc. Email campaigns. Let's talk about email campaigns. Hi, grow and engage your audience with Squarespace email campaigns. Blogging tools, SEO tools, mailing lists, domains, open table blocks. I'm not sure what that is, but guess what? They've got it. I love Squarespace. Listen, I've been using Squarespace since I think 2015. Um, since I heard it on What's the Tea podcast with RuPaul, I have been loving it ever since. It is so easy to use, even for dumb people like myself. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Let's talk about burnout people. Working too much, burning the candle at both ends. I have a lot of experience in burnout, um, which is why I work relatively little these days. Um, But before it was a pretty challenging thing and I didn't even really know it was happening. A lot of people experience burnout and people don't even know how overwhelmed they are. Uh, Mm -hmm. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, irritability, fatigue, and so much more. And although we associate burnout with work, that's not the only cause. So many of our roles in life can lead us to feel burned out. BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. I have received a lot of help from therapy in many, in various forms, um, and I can't stress enough how helpful it is to receive guidance from a professional. Some people think, you know, I, oh, I can just talk about my problems with my friends, but your friends are your friends, and sometimes we really need uh, the help of a licensed professional. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash bald. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. So, tell us about what happened at the, the at the at the at the hotel today. Well, I got camera two going for you <laughs> okay. over here. Hi there. I enlisted the services of a, of a of a sex worker. Love it. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. How did you find him? I found him. Um, he was a refer. He was referred. Oh, it was that's a referral. probably the better. It was a referral. Yeah. And I got to tell you, it was lovely. Did it take the wheels off. It took the wheels off. He rummaged around in the trunk. 
<laughs> he rotated yeah. the tires. No, what he do you do? What do you do with the hooker? Same so, thing every time. <laughs> What we, name do you use? Cheesy, Bonnie? Scrabble. And then we well, just we do, do a, a quick nap. And then he's <laughs> yeah. asleep before he's gone. What about people buying hookers just to sleep in bed? Just to sleep over? Have you done it? Okay. So here's what... I'm going to tell you the exact words I said to him. Okay. So first of all, it was a sexy massage. And um, so we did... He, had, he brought a table. He was an extremely talented masseuse. He was uh-huh. very legit. He was very legit. And he called my hotel to, to verify my identity before I came over. Love that. Because he thought you were a catfish? Well, you never know. Did you, you know never who you know. Are? No. He was gay, but he didn't know who I was. Love it. No, he didn't. He, he's like, I've, I've never watched Drag Race. I'm not a good guy. Do you love that accent? I don't <laughs> believe anybody anymore. No, he says he's, just, he's never watched Drag Race. Drag Race? I'm going to tell you Rice? this. On Grinder, people are always like, what do you do for a living? And then I go to their page and, and they, they follow have- me. <laughs> And I'm like, what is this fantasy? What is I this know. performance? Well, he didn't know who I was. I'm less okay. famous than you. You have to remember. I am much less famous. I love that, by the way. You do? Oh, I'm obsessed. I love it. I love it. Because it's like you're the human shield. Well, do you want to know what you're it is? You're the human shield. I'm the and sheer volume of shit that I put yeah, out. You're everywhere. I'm in Google ads. Do you I know, know what I mean? I like, love it. It's I'm unavoidable so, at this point. You Your homophobic no, uncle knows who I am. You have no idea. It is my nightmare. To like be the most famous one. Why? Because I don't want the attention. I don't want the attention. I don't want the responsibility. Nobody wants to give it to you. <laughs> so <laughs> give it up, want, delicious. I don't want the responsibility. There is no responsibility. I guess there is. So in what way? It's just, it's all the attention. <laughs> That's why you got a hooker because you don't want attention. Yeah, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, he brings wait, a wait. table. He brings like a table. A, like a butcher board table <laughs> or slab. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sl- he brings <laughs> a, like an autopsy table. <laughs> He saw your nudes and he said, <laughs> he, he "Get zips, the morgue table." He zips me up into in the a black body bag. <laughs> <laughs> he throws me over the shoulder. He takes me up to the. When he said glory roof. hole, what he meant is you're gonna put a body bag on you and cut a dick hole. That's what he meant by glory hole. Fuck. Was, wait, wait, what do you do if you, somebody says they have a glory hole and you go to their house and they're standing there in a body bag with a boner poking out? I would jump on it. Or <laughs> that's by the way, I'll let you tell your story, but one of the scariest parts of Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one, is when that girl nods off in class, Nancy, and she sees her friend in when, the body bag. When Tina's in the body bag being dragged down the hall. Horrifying. It's so bad. Do you know that the Freddy Krueger is the most recurring he factors in heavily and has oh, factored you in him. In a dream. Remember? I've done everything. <laughs> And it's so crazy. Is he met your parents? No, it got it. It got to the point like it got it. It became so recurring that you're like this I again. Like, I, no, it was. I was like, I gotta flip the script on this. I gotta flip the script. So I was like, I. It was in a dream where I was like half loose. It was almost lucid dreaming where it's like, yeah. okay, just stop it. I was like, everybody, give stop. it up, delicious. Yeah, I was like, stop it. You with the burn off face, we're gonna fuck because this is too yeah. much. No, it was I'm like it was like a director's like yes. cut, yeah. cut, cut, yes, cut. It was. We gotta talk about your character. You know. <laughs> What's your what motivation? Your motivation? <laughs> Those Why creepy are you here? razor claws. We just got to take the glove off and we're going to fuck. And this is we're not gonna a horror movie. It's, it's going to be Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> or something Dune related. It was, I had to flip this because I was like, it was just horror. It kept being terrifying, terrifying, well, he's terrifying. He's a very sexual creature. Freddy Krueger? The underpinnings of that metaphors in those oh, I movies know. is I know. sexual dreams, well, teenagers, and also sex dreams. Yes, it, it's all yeah, exactly. Being stabbed, being, being penetrated, and he's uh, always so witty. Yeah, with the, the zingers, you know, the zinger, <laughs> pulling the petite bitch. Yeah, <laughs> here's your big break. Welcome to prime time, bitch. Yeah, hi, Miss Big. <laughs> well, that was the other thing about it too, because you know, Jason is like a lumbering oaf. Uh huh. You know, and there's not much personality there. It's either like, and he's not. He's not super fast. You know, right. you never see him book it, right? No. So, like, he'll, he'll appear suddenly, and that's scary. But Freddy is so sneaky, mama. Yeah, and he's Freddy's so also kind of doing... He's doing his SNL audition. He's, he's doing his do, reel. He's doing so much. He's And then it's like, in the dream world, my it's it just got to the point where I was like, I cannot... We I, I, we got to join forces here. We got to be but on the same the page. Goal? Yeah, I was like, what, where's the common ground here? I was like, we're going to fuck. The enemy of my we enemy going- is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Be- what are you doing here? <laughs> What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. It got to us. Anyway, so the hooker. Oh, the hooker. Um, the hooker. Yeah. So, um, great massage. He did this thing. I don't want to get gross. Get, girl, <laughs> get gross. I don't want to get gross. He did this thing. So, I've never, I've had, I've had a bunch of sexy massages before. So, I'm face down. He takes my leg. He bends it. And then he, he, Which way? <laughs> like the knee back. So he snaps the knee. 
He he had some broke, <laughs> He broke both my legs. He so he did this so, thing. Somebody's never touched he me broke again. both my legs. <laughs> so that's to be a problem he, for the show tonight. He, took the, he unplugged the bones from the motel. I couldn't call 911. He had flushed my phone down the toilet. So it was he scary. noticed I had a bathtub. He brought his own toaster. <laughs> and the worst part Extension is. Cord. He, but then he turned off the air, and that's where I drew the line. <laughs> he turned off the air conditioning. He he um he so I was laying down with my legs in like a like a four like so I uh-huh. had the knee bent up and it was out like you know where you're like you know what I mean yeah so okay so you're on your belly I'm on my belly and he, the the knee is up forty five degrees uh-huh. and there's like a, this situation happening with the legs he did this thing where he was like it was a sensual massage so we were both naked and um it was sensual from the get go which is interesting touching the dick i was he had these huge balls and then so he like i he was doing this thing where like he got his like whole body involved and it was i was like i i go like this i was like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> like but that's such a confusing tone he could have been like are you okay no i said oh my god that's <laughs> that's the same thing you said to freddie in the dream <laughs> Oh my God! Here we go again. Here we go again. I was did, like, did something crack? No, no, no. It was just like it was so. It was the the perfect combination of 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 therapeutic massage relief and like erotic touch. It was oh. incredible, and it was like his whole. It was like I've never been like. It, it, imagine like all these different points getting touched at the same time. It was wild, and so I was like, "Oh shit!" And yeah. I, I had to tell him. I was like, "I'm sorry if this is weird." But I, th- I was like, um, oh, this is what this is when it got weird. So uh, who made it weird? <laughs> okay, that's what I kind of thought. Okay, so it was it was an hour massage, forty five minutes of, sen- of 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 massaging, and then fifteen minutes of television. And he <laughs> he turned on the Connors, the Connors on Hulu, <laughs> Food. Food Network. <laughs> he put on Food Network. <laughs> he put on Lisa. Fifteen Le- minutes of silent eating. <laughs> He put on. He put on America's. He went into the other room and ate lunch. <laughs> he put on Worst Cook Celebrity Edition. And he, no talking. No talking. No, 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 no. no sh- um, and the, on the menu was like full sex, like if you wanted whatever, yeah. you know. Um, and this is what I said to him. And it's a la carte. It's a la carte. Okay. You, you, so, so you, if you say, get this wild, is what I want this is the price. The prices are firm and not negotiable. And if you get wild in the moment, you can go. I'm ready to upgrade. Absolutely. And then it just gets absolutely, added. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what I said, and I'm. So, I haven't jerked off in six. I haven't jerked off since we've been here at all. I know it's crazy. And then, um, and so, uh, why well, I, I, <laughs> I got my dick off. <laughs> oh my god. I was not ready for you to say that. Oh, I haven't jerked off since I got oh. here. Well, I cut my dick off. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, oh, wait. God. So, anyway, so 15 minutes left. We're, we're approaching. I could feel it. We're approaching that moment where it has me flip over. And I say to him, I was like, I, I know this might be a little weird. Instead of like fucking, can we just like hug? <laughs> 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 what is wrong with you? This what is wrong with you? And he you need laughed. better help, yeah. bitch. <laughs> you need better help. What's getting in the you way actually, of you and your happiness? <laughs> what's getting ready in the, what's getting in the way of you and your ultimate happiness? Girl, you need oh, better shit. you need much better help. I a lot even better, better much help. Better. You need even better help. Bag of chips. Best oh help. My God, best help. Yeah. So it was. So, so then what? You say, so, can I just have a hug? Well, so <laughs> he was. I think maybe he thought like I was not serious because he just straddled me. Like he just got on the table and like and we like we did like a little mutual oral thing. But I was like I was serious. I was like I didn't want to really get off. So we just like we like hugged. We did this. Uh huh. It was so fabulous. Good oh, for it was you. So fa- he was so attractive. Such a nice guy. Great guy. Love, lovely guy. I. It, it really is an art what some of these people can achieve. I'm telling you, you know, I, you that is no joke, no joke. And I, I tell, I told him like a bunch of times. I was like, you are so good. You well, are doing like, the Lord's work. This is so important because it's part a performance, right? Oh my god! But it's yeah. part um, therapy. It's, it's a, part science. So much. If it's a real yes, massage, it was a it's fantastic part science. massage. I've had 
a athletic lot of, medicine. He's yes. doing athletic medicine. Sports medicine. He's very well trained. He's also also customer service, interpersonal relations, yeah. um, theatrics. I just think it's funny that your uh, hip bone has been bothering you until there's sex involved, and suddenly you can fold like a pretzel. Hmm. By Which, the way, yesterday on stage, you got excited at the end of the show, and I saw you do a cartwheel split. I'm feeling and it. You mean, oh, I'm feeling it. Eden, I said, I said to Eden, I said, you do not let her complain tomorrow. If I she know. says anything about the pain. I know. I know. You got fierce. I know. I got fierce, and now she's feeling it. Yeah. Four days ago, yeah. you had cortisone shot. Literally, the needle from Jurassic Park, when they're drilling into that mosquito and amber, that was, that was, was in your leg. That was me. I know. Bingo. So Dino DNA. DNA. <laughs> That's what that hooker said when yeah. you took your clothes off. <laughs> They Bing. can open doors. Can I ask? We're not going to say who he is, so I think it's appropriate to ask what. How much was it? Um, it was two hundred and twenty Australian dollars for just like this for, for just one hour. Oh, so it could have been that could have included massage and full sex. That doesn't seem like a lot. It's not because the exchange rate is so fierce that I think if you do the math, that averages out he to paid about you with the exchange rate. <laughs> yeah. So I gave I tipped him a hundred dollars. <gasps> Wait a minute. Yeah. Did he know that you used to be a hooker? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. no. I feel like it's okay if you go to a restaurant and you're this you've been a server, you tip you great. Know, you know. And so when you've been a hooker, you probably are the client. I I I think so because it, it, you have a response that, like you have now of course this Star is Star Trek the Next Generation. <laughs> paying it forward. You <laughs> You have the power dynamic is I would say very even. There's no danger there. I've never felt danger hiring a mm-hmm. hooker. You know what I mean? This kind of masseuse thing. It's like a man, man. You know what I mean? There's no like power dynamic at play, so I don't have to be. You're also not going to get shot and robbed at the Ritz Carlton well, in the maybe, daytime. You never know. You never know. However, but so all things being equal in that way. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I would never hire a sex worker if I wasn't prepared to pay, to tip to die. At, <laughs> oh, you were. That's the only part of it you didn't like. You didn't get killed yeah, at the end. I didn't feel like. Gun barrel on my neck. <laughs> I was waiting for him to actually apply the pressure and yeah. like. I would never. I don't care how much. It's never going to cost under hundred dollars. So I'm never going to tip under hundred dollars. Right. Do you know what I mean? Usually I tip. I tip. Like at I see this guy at uh, at home in L. A. And his list price is two hundred dollars. I always give him four hundred. Because he turns the fucking party. Yeah. He turns the party. I go over to his house, immaculate, gorgeous shower upon arrival. Massage room with candles, professional bed. He's so sweet. He's so hot. Full massage. Full well, sex. Yeah. Full sex. Full sex. With you. <laughs> with, with you, too. With his goblin. He stuck his dick in a bag of flour. <laughs> a bag of concrete. And it came out like shake and bake. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's an independent contractor, right? It goes to anything. Yeah. If somebody says their price... You respect the price. You respect it. This isn't Costco, bitch. No. It's not JCPenney. It's not Saks Fifth Avenue. Don't, I mean, don't, don't, don't quote me on this, but like hair people, costumers. Amy's been building costumes for me for two years more. Yeah. I've never once even questioned a price. No, you don't. She's and if quoted. you don't like the product, you just move on. Yeah, you, you move on. You just move on. If I've I've seen hookers that I've 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 seen sex workers that I've I've haven't been super satisfied with. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm also not going to undercut them. I'm just going to move on. Not to mention when you are a good client who tips well, pays on time. The next time you want service, believe it or not, you Mama, will get priority. Yes, you will. You get priority because you you're will. their easy work day. Yeah. I, that's what I, that's one thing. And I've had clients like that where I'm like, I'm not, I would never say this. I'm like, I'll oh, fuck you for free, bitch. But I would fuck you for free. But it's anything to, yeah. uh, um, I don't know. Our friend who'd make Jake Cobra Lily. Yeah. If you get pay fiercely yeah. and tip fiercely, next yeah. time you need flowers, he'll make flowers. magic happen for you. It, it, yeah. Yes. They will move mountains. You know? It's very, very fierce. Respect people's independent businesses. Everything from hookers to, to, to florists, to fucking Uber drivers. Yeah. Dude, just treat people Same right. Thing. I, yeah, I, it's one of, that's the one thing. Like when I went Cucurella, I like, um, I got fierce with my cash. Um, um, are we talking about when you were walking the streets handing it out? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I would count I, that as I don't getting regret, fierce. I don't regret that at all. I really don't. I mean, I know that's crazy, and it didn't have a lot to do with reality sometimes. But um, but I just, I I I I never I never feel like you never went down my block. <laughs> I was out there. I was out I, there. I, I never. I've never felt like to myself. Oh, I really paid too much for some. You know what I mean? Like, especially if I'm buying something from somebody, or or being, or like if it's individual one on one or whatever small. I'm never like, 
I, I would say, oh God, I paid too much for that Gucci suit. Right. But I've never felt like, oh, I really tipped too much that Uber driver. I've just never felt that, you know? I've never felt that either. Yeah. Uh, you could pretty much come and stab me and you're getting 20%. Yeah, at least. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. shit. Yeah. Well, what are they going to get tonight? On the, in the, are they going to get the 20%? Show? <laughs> oh, you know, Drew Drogi says they get the show they deserve. Yeah. So we'll see. They decide the show they get. Yeah. But then I've also heard people say that it's your job to tell them what kind of show it is. I might give them what I'm going to give them. They get what they, they get. get. What they get. Yeah. That is the get. That I feel like for too long in drag, we were all like, well, maybe not you, but <laughs> a lot of people were like, well, I got to, what fans expect or what other drag queens expect now coming out of COVID. No, they get what they get. Yeah. They get what they get. Yeah. We tell them what drag is mm-hmm. not the other way around. Yeah. I'm going to show them and I'm going to tell people what a dressing room is after today. Oh, Mary, because please. this, this is not it. Hostile. Hostile. Saw. Saw. <laughs> The, the nightmare on Elm Street. The, the nightmare on Elm Street, girl. Yeah, it's you know what's great about touring. Whatever kind of like in Hollywood on your little TV set with your little catered food, mm-hmm. and you really they pick you up in your black car. Black car. All that dissipates when you get to Perth. Perth, mama. It's, the Perth. It's, yeah, it's the, it is. Um, it's the hills have eyes. It's it's the the dressing room situations on tour sometimes will just humble you to death. Yeah. And then and then you see the wall of flyers of who else has been there and it's people you it's thought like were Bruce way famous. Springsteen. And you're like, "Well, their life sucks too." Yeah. Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce Bruce <laughs> Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. We get any wild comments at the meet and greet today? Not really. No, it was like really um yeah, it was it was pretty it was pretty good and easy. Chewy. I like Perth. Chewy. I love the trees. I like Perth too. I love the trees. It looks like Florida here. Do you think that's reductive? Uh, I don't know. Um, because it's like kind of humid, palm trees. Yeah, they, I don't know what it's giving. I don't know what it's. I giving. think it's giving Florida a little Boca bit. Raton. A little bit, yeah. Not as humid. But if this is the winter, bitch, I'll fucking take it. This is nothing. Somebody, not meet, thing. somebody in the meet and greet said sorry about the winter. I said I like, it was seventy and sunny today. Yeah, fuck off. This is it's a hundred in L.A. right now. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's like 115 here in the summer. Wild. Ugh. Wild and nasty. Well, well. Hey, thank you for so much. Thank you for so much. Thank you for so, so much. I think, <laughs> not to spoil our alert, I think we got to have Kelly part two. Absolutely. Absolutely. We just got to get her a phone with a microphone. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. We can switch off. We don't need both of us. <laughs> okay, no, what I really mean is you don't. and Kelly should have another conversation <laughs> yeah, so I could take yeah. a nap. Yes, totally. I, t- I think I told you today, uh, on an interview today, they asked me, "What is your, what, what do you want to retire like? Uh-huh. And I said, I want my retirement to be Katja's very active career right now. Oh, God. I love it. I love it. I just do what I want. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. After this tour? So lucky. After this tour? So lucky. After this tour? Yeah. Things are changing gonna, around things here. Things are changing around here. Yeah. I'm going to become an elusive chanteuse. I can't, I can't wait to get even less famous. You got to keep climbing. You got to keep climbing because I want to keep slipping. But why do you think that I, I, do you think I, Winifred Sanderson, like siphoned that off of you? No, it's like, it's like, just figuratively, of course, the larger you get in the spotlight, the cooler the shade is for me. (laughs) Because I'm Miss Big. (laughs) Miss Big. Miss Big girl. I am comfortable in that shadow. Oh, it's so cool. You're, you're rewriting Wimby Through Your Wings. It, it was so nice there in your shadow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seriously, though, like, I I hate it. I mean, I when I'm with someone who's also, like, like, I was I was walking down uh, Hollywood uh, in uh, Santa Monica with Whitney Cummings uh-huh. after your party, and um, and everybody's recognizing me. I fucking hate She is a very famous person. Huge, huge she famous. A, she is a millionaire comedian. She, she got Very, that, very yeah. famous. It, gorgeous. Uh, fucking un, un, stunning. She, like, her, so fuckable. Her stand-up clips show up on my Instagram feed a lot. Yeah. Arenas. Or well, not arenas, but like giant, you know. The beauty. Yeah, she's so she's so beautiful. And like casual. Like she's so not wearing ball gorgeous. gowns over there. She's just like, she's like regular clothes looking stunning. Men must either love her or fully hate her. I would say that women probably love her or fully hate her. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so we were walking together and we, she looked, at your party, she was so, unbelievable. It was so hot. Unbelievable. She looked so sexy, so great. And we were walking together and everybody was recognizing me and not her. And I was like, oh, I hate this. 
Ooh, I hate this. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. I hate that. I would so much rather be me and you are walking and nobody recognizes me. And they're all just like, Trixie, Trixie. Oh, That's never going to happen. It's, yes, if they it recognize is. me, they're going to recognize you. I don't know. Where are they going to recognize you and not me? When I get my brown hair. A steel mill? When I get my brown hair. Your unit? My brown hair. Oh, you do brown hair wigs? When I, when I, well, you know, Lisa, one time when we, we first started hanging out, we were going to go to West Hollywood and she was like, she's like, well, something about West Hollywood, she's like, I'll go with you and people, so people will think, like, basically if she goes with me, we'll be famous. And I said, this, this is West Hollywood. You have a restaurant here. No, she was saying like, if I go with you to that, like, it was something gay, people, uh-huh. then I was like. You don't think I can get a table somewhere gay, oh, Lisa? Oh, right, right, right. You oh, she was saying, I'll help you, yeah, poor Yeah, I was like, you, you don't think wretch? I can get a little booth at the Abbey, bitch? You would get mobbed. I would think you'd be more famous than her. Oh, I tell people she's Elizabeth Hurley. <laughs> I'm like, this brown-haired British woman? <laughs> yeah. Elizabeth Hurley. Yeah. T. Well? Okay. Well, I love her, by the way. I'm so happy to meet her. I was a little suspicious of your friendship with her. At the beginning, I was like, why are you hanging out with her? Because she's a billionaire? No, she's fierce. She's very she's fierce. She's so funny. She's so fun. It's all a facade, by the way. She's yeah. completely poor. <laughs> she lives at her home, rented. <laughs> rented. Trailer. Yeah. She lives in a trailer. <laughs> yeah. Poor no, potty. No, she is just a, she's just a drag queen. Yeah, she's really, and she is fucking pretty in person holy shit yeah it's pretty she's wildly stunning yeah it's it's pretty wild she also um honestly i should probably never hear this i think that so many people either are like in awe of her or work for her that nobody like reads her Uh uh-huh and i think that's why we get along is because i just make fun of her to her face yeah yeah i think she likes it yeah she has a great sense of humor yeah great she's she's rotted yeah she's rotted rotina yeah she's rotted yeah i think the second thing i ever said to her was like um, congratulations on your hemorrhoid surgery or something. Is she uh, just snapped right back? Of, do you know how they sound check our tour when we're not available? They play the bald and the beautiful upstairs in the house. And today I walked in while they were telling my hemorrhoid story at full volume and the entire staff and crew of this tour was listening to it. That's really rotten. And then I said, oh, and then I was like, well, it is on the podcast. <laughs> like, I can't get mad. I'm like, this yeah. is my diary. It's public information. Yeah. Well, I think we're done. Yeah. Thank you guys. See you next time. We always know how to end the pod. I think we're done. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,